guess what? Joe Biden is president. The Democrats are in total control of government. And guess what they got you? Guess what they got you? State clears first three foreign military sales of Biden's administration. And still no COVID relief. Still no COVID relief. State Department approves $85 million missile to Chile. So now Biden is officially president. That's how it works. This is how this works. More war. Biden administration announces $197 million arms deal with Egypt. It's very presidential. Obama embraced endless wars. Biden probably will, too. This is from the Washington Post, so the headline's probably meant to be celebratory. Yay! Obama embraced endless war. Biden probably will, too. We're the Washington Post. As Obama quickly learned, changing the United States military posture is harder than it looks. <laughs> Biden administration likely to keep U.S. troops in Afghanistan and miss admit escalating violence and stalled talks because nothing is fundamentally going to change as Joe Biden promised. Joe Biden, where war is a lot more than a band he used to listen to in his convertible. War. Ha! What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Ah! Good God. Ha! Come on. You don't think we can push Joe Biden left? Come on. You can push Joe Biden left and you can push your car with a hand cart. Come on. We can distribute weapons all over the world, but we can't distribute COVID relief funds. Isn't that amazing? Who knew Joe Biden was going to be pro-war? It's not like he gave us 40 straight years of clues. <laughs> By the way, guess who guess guess who is uh defense secretary? Look who it is. Oh, wait a minute. From the board of directors, it's Lloyd J. Austin III from Raytheon. Now Biden defense pick got $1.7 million from Raytheon. Lucky. Hey, guess what else? Biden administration plans to continue to seek extradition on WikiLeaks Assange. That's right. Why would Joe Biden want to prosecute? Oh, maybe because he's in bed with the military industrial complex and he reveals the secrets because he's going to tell you about the war crimes of Joe Biden. That's why. That's why. So there you go. But, you know, I voted. I voted for a demented racist, warmongering enemy of the workers. And I don't know. I just don't feel happy. Hey, everybody, this is the part where I tell you where all our live shows are, but there aren't any. And then this is why I tell you we join our premium program, get extra content, but nobody's got a fucking job. So just enjoy the video.